What do you think? How's life on the farm? It's kind of laid back? Ain't nothing that a country girl can't hack? Yeah, something like that. So we got water done for all the animals? Did you get my... Nope. Polish? Nope. I ain't got nobody. I thought you were doing it. You got them. I got them. I got these guys. They got water. We have to get the rest done. Okay, let's do it. How do you prevent that from happening? <laughs> Shut up! How do you prevent that from happening? Will you shut up, Tika? I'm trying to do a video here. See? Tannis is a good boy. He's not barking. Good boy, Tannis. Hush. How do you prevent that from happening? Stay tuned. You'll see. Pointless to even try. Solid. It's pointless to even bother to try to keep the ice freezing up here. There's lots of tricks you can do. They work a little bit, but nothing's 100% besides constant power and a heater. Or you get these rubber bowls and you just break the ice out. Give up the give up the fight. Pick your battles. Plus, you can kind of take your aggression out on it. You just fill of fresh water. It's pointless to even try to fight this. It's pointless to even try to fight this. It's pointless to try to do a video with split dog back here too. Alright. Hopefully this one won't break apart because it's plastic. Do it just right though. Where it lands on all edges, the ice will come right out. Alright. Stretching a garden hose all the way up. All right, hand it here. There goes all the heat in the house. Yep. Bringing it through the hole in the door. That shadows, trust me, guys, it's just shadows. So currently, the pipe here feeds in and it fills this tank. This tank is upstairs. So currently the pipe comes from outside the cabin here. This is the outside wall. And it comes up through the floor, which we're still trying to get this all remodeled done. But it comes up, hits that gate valve. I can, whatever you call it, shut off valve. I can shut it off so water doesn't come up here or leave it open and water goes goes on up into there into the tank so between here and the well somewhere it froze and I'm thinking it's underneath the floorboards here I'm gonna have to tear all that out and rip this whole kitchen apart again trying to redirect heat Pizza pans, sheet pans, little buddy heater, so we can get the pipe unfrozen. Good stuff. Got my own little buddy. Yeah. Let's talk redundancies. Let's talk about backup plans. Plan B's. Well, year before last, we had plan B's in place. We had storage tanks that we could fill with water from our neighbors and bring over and, and fill up that way 
if things didn't work. Um, we got the well finally down from the show, and it was great. You know, water was working great, but we had backups. Had. So, barrels like this, that's a backup. IBC totes like that, those are a backup. Well, this IBC tote, I gave away our cleaned out IBC totes. So I gave away our, our backup IBC totes. We had one upstairs, figured we were never gonna need one. So we had a couple extra still, like this one and one more that I hadn't cleaned out yet. They've been over sitting there for, I'm sure you've seen them in videos where they're just sitting there and piled, piles of wood on there and stuff like that. Well, well goes out, figure we're gonna get water. Completely forgot, we didn't clean these up. So, there goes that backup. How do you clean, get clean water into a dirty tank in the middle of winter, freezing temperatures? You can't scrub it out, I mean, come on. This is like beating your head against the wall. Oh. Anyway, so, plan B next year, for sure. Gotta get these tanks cleaned out, have them ready. So my buddy Neil, my neighbor, came over and helped us fix that spigot. Well, right afterwards, just like, I swear, 10 minutes afterwards, I posted on Facebook about all this and not sure what to do, and a lot of people commented. I really appreciate everybody that did comment, gave me suggestions and ideas to walk through. Um, one I wasn't expecting, Marty Rainey. Yep, he sent me a message, said, call me, sent me his phone number. So, called and talked to him for a bit, good 20 minutes or so, and, uh, I really appreciate that, Marty. Thank you. I, I doubt you'll ever see this video, but I appreciate your effort. You know, customer service still goes on two years later. Who knew? Anyway, that was really cool. So you got you got away from me. That just happened. Somebody hit our gate. Destroyed the whole thing. That thing is crunched. Crunched.
damaged bad. The arm still extends, but it's broke. Freaking awesome. Literally, less than a week ago, I got this thing done. <laughs>